Genetics, medical genetics has a reputation uh, or, or at first thought people, I think, associate it very much with the lab science of genetics. And of course, there are medical geneticists who do clinical research, who do basic science research, but it is very much at its core a clinical specialty. And um, when I was in residency, one of my mentors once said to me that she was puzzled by my choice to go into medical genetics because I would never develop relationships with patients. But nothing could be further from the, tr from the truth. I had actually rather a close relationship with a lot of my patients because I saw them for years and years and was helping them navigate what is a very difficult situation, having, having a rare disease. So medical geneticists are physicians who are trained either in residency programs, there are now genetics residencies, or they're trained in fellowship. And uh, my training was in pediatrics, so I was a pediatric resident first, and then did my fellowship training in, in human genetics at Mount Sinai. So there are a number of different paths to get there, but ultimately medical geneticists are trained in the identification and management of genetic conditions, and that might be infants with birth defects, kids with developmental delay or inborn errors of metabolism, seeing women who uh, are pregnant and there's some specific concern about the pregnancy for a rare condition, either directly with the pregnancy itself or because of some family history, or seeing individuals who have unexplained symptoms or a worrisome family history for a given condition. And that is very much complicated, complemented by the genetic counselor, who again is a master's level trained person who also is adept in the analysis of family history, um, understanding test results, interpreting those and communicating those back to the patient. And they're very much a partner in management of patients.